How did Ian get past the gate, let alone Bonnie? He did what he's always done. He turned on the charm to get what he wanted. What is it about this guy that reels people in? Why don't they see past his act? People see what they want to see. Ian obviously learned that from early on, and he's used it to perfection. Well, the man is smart. I'll give him that. I definitely underestimated him. I mean, even without mentioning Nikki's name in Indiana, he was still able to put all the pieces together and follow us back to Genoa City. Maybe we were naive to think he wouldn't put the pieces together and show up here. <sighs> he really messed with Nikki's head. He tried to spin it like she was the one who wanted to sleep with him all those years ago, and that she was lucky to have had his kid. I'm sorry for Nikki, and I'm sorry for you. For me? Yes. Just when you decide to move on with your life, now you have to deal with this? Well, if dealing with him means to send him packing, that should be easy enough. Hi, right, can I help you? Oh, uh, pardon me for interrupting. Lovely place you have here. I just wanted to introduce myself, Dylan. I'm... I know who you are. You haven't changed much since your mugshot. And they locked you up for fraud. Well, you've been reading up on me, I see. Especially like the pictures of you in the orange jumpsuit. Well, sadly, I don't know your face, so I hope you don't mind if I stare a bit, son. Don't call me that. Fair enough. I can't expect you to accept me overnight. Overnight, over a thousand years, don't expect to ever have acceptance. And this is? I'm Avery. That's, uh, that's all you need to know. Oh, believe me, I'm very uncomfortable with this as well. You know, until you started asking questions about me, I had no idea you even existed. If I had... Well, Nikki had good reason to keep it from you. She told me the whole story. Which story is that? Hers. But don't I deserve a chance to tell you mine? Are you calling Nikki a liar? I'm not calling anyone a liar. There's something you should know about me. I don't like to be confined by labels. But you just intimated that you have a very different story than she does. Well, a story can be told many different ways, especially decades afterward, when memories become malleable and elusive. And, uh, memories are all subjective. Don't you agree? No. No, I don't agree. I happen to think some memories are as clear as the day they happened. Everyone's entitled to his or her opinion. I didn't come here to get in any conflict. You went a long way to Indiana looking for me. Presumably to meet me in the flesh. You were nowhere to be found. Hiding behind pseudonyms and protected by your sycophants who for some reason don't see right through you. I'm very fortunate to have loyal friends and colleagues. And I like to think that I've earned their respect yeah. and, and, and trust. Yeah, by brainwashing them. You know, maybe if you got to know me, you could form your own opinions. You know, get answers to all those questions I know must be racing through your head. You know, I had, I had a lot of questions. But I found out everything I need to know. I went looking for my biological father because everything I thought I knew about myself was a lie. I wanted to meet you to see if I could recognize any part of myself in you. But after searching, and thanks to Avery, I realized I didn't need anything from you to come to terms with who I am. Sage advice to give to someone who's in search of his path. Save the party line for the poor kid who doesn't know any better. I'm not walking any path with you. I'm truly sorry to hear that. I think we could have found some common ground. You remind me a lot of myself when I was your age. <laughs> I don't see the resemblance. You were right. He and I are nothing alike. That settles that. We're finished here. You have your own loyal supporters. I'm glad of that. You mean to show you the door? No. I'm leaving. I hope someday we can find each other. That's not going to happen. So stay away from me and Avery. And most of all, you stay away from Nikki.
Excuse me? I couldn't help overhearing. I, w I was just leaving. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Hope you don't mind my saying what a wise young woman you are. It's, it's not often I come across someone your age searching for meaning. And you're smart enough not to talk to strangers in the park, so... <laughs> I won't keep you. Thank you, I just... But in case you should ever find yourself needing a little help finding the path that you were meant to walk, check us out. I think you'll like what you find. <laughs>